Good evening, everyone. This is Sean with Carrollwood Computers, and I just finished working on this HP 15 inch laptop. It's an X360 model. Still has two months left on the warranty, so it's basically brand new. Customer dropped it off Friday of last week and it's the end of the day Wednesday and I've been working on it off and on since then it had a a BIOS password on it and a Windows password and customer states that they never put a BIOS password on here I kind of find that hard to believe because you have to intentionally set that up but Regardless, I was able to get the password, remove it, and then we were just reinstalling Windows 10 Professional 64-bit, and for the life of me, could not get it to recognize the NVMe drive. And so I tried numerous different fixes, and after like Monday night, I was, I threw my hands up in the air and I just, I just couldn't believe that I had to throw in the towel. So I just decided, you know what, I'm going to fix this no matter what. And I'm just going to not charge the customer because it's driving me crazy. And, uh, turns out these HP laptops that come with the 11th gen Intel processor, you have to manually insert the drivers for the MVME drive during the Windows installation. And you have to put the drivers on the same thumb drive as the Windows ISO. Uh, it took me forever to figure that out. So it's for HP drive, uh, HP laptops specifically. If you go onto HP site and check for drivers under drivers dash storage, um, You'll see Intel RST VMD drivers. Uh, download that, extract or install the software to the same drive as Windows, and you'll be good. So, as you can see, it's brand new laptop, 11th gen Intel i5, 8 gigs of RAM. It did end up putting Windows 10 Home on here just because of the key that I have. So, we're just going to roll with that. And that's all the customer wanted. So just a PSA for anyone working on HPs. It could be all 11th gen Intel processors, regardless of make. But I just uh, wanted to let everyone know that. 